There's something about eagles that's captivated humanity for a long time. They're known for their incredible grace in the air and also for their awesome power as predators. They're often used as political and military symbols as they represent honor and courage. There's no doubt the eagle is an awesome bird, but there's many different kinds of eagles. Let's take a look at some of the most amazing ones. From the eagle that every American knows best to the monster eagle named after a horrifying Greek demon. Here's the 20 deadliest eagles in the world. Number 20, bald eagles. They look awesome, they act like royalty, and they hunt in a very effective way. One of the most common and easy to spot birds in North America is the bald eagle, but do you really know that much about them? There's more to these beautiful birds of prey than meets the eye. People with perfect eyesight can see 20-20. Bald eagles can see up to four or five times further than the average person because they have 24 or 25 vision. A bald eagle can see a rabbit-sized meal three miles away. Eagle's eyes are so big, they take up most of their head. They can see in 340 degrees, while we just see in 180. They can also see with one eye, or both. This lets them use each eye on its own, or both at the same time. This is what the most dangerous eagle in the world can do. Bald eagles actually aren't very heavy for how big their wings are, around 6 to 7.5 feet. They only weigh about 10 to 14 pounds, and most of that weight comes from their feathers. They have about 7,200 feathers, which weigh about twice as much as their whole skeleton. Even though the bald eagle population recovered after the DDT pesticide crisis that nearly wiped them out, hunting still has an effect on them. Many bald eagles are being poisoned by lead from ammunition, especially when it's used to hunt big game. Some hunters leave behind all or part of an animal they've killed, which is a great meal for an eagle looking for food. Unfortunately, the eagles often eat some of this lead ammunition, which usually kills them. Number 19, Harpy Eagles. The harpy eagle is one of the largest and most powerful birds of prey in the world. The back claws are 4 to 5 inches long, which is about the same length as a grizzly bear's claws. The harpy eagle's talons have enough strength and grip to pull up animals that weigh about the same as they do. Harpy eagles are at the top of their food chain because they eat sloths, monkeys, and opossums. Even though their wings are about six and a half feet long, they're still sneaky predators that glide through forests and watch like a sneaky drone. When you first hear the word harpy, you might think it means a happy bird, like the word happy. But then it's said that South American explorers brought the harpy to Greece and linked it to Greek mythology. In Greek mythology, a harpy was a terrifying demonic creature that was half bird, half human, and symbolized strong wind. And these birds are almost as scary. Harpy eagles spend most of their time in the air, so they hunt by hopping from branch to branch and looking for food with their sharp eyes. When their prey sees them, they'll jump from their perch to try to catch it. These birds might not need to look for food as much as other animals do. Instead, they prefer to hunt without doing much, simply perching and wait for prey to approach them. Harpy eagles also hunt in a way that most birds don't. They fly high above the treetops and look down for prey. As long as they're in the air, they can see everything going on below. Number 18, Golden Eagles. The Golden Eagle lives on four continents and in more than 70 countries in the Northern Hemisphere. It lives in semi-open areas with rocky ledges and cliffs. During the day, it hunts for food by flying low to the ground. This kind of eagle is very dangerous, and it can kill and eat animals that are twice its size. Rabbits, hares, squirrels, prairie dogs, fish, cranes, swans, badgers, and dead animals are some of the things they like to eat. Since they can kill animals much bigger than themselves, such as coyotes, deer, livestock, seals, mountain goats, bobcats, bighorn sheep, and yeah, coyotes, I know I said that. But it's crazy. They'll even steal food from other birds and break into their nests. Most of the time they attack their prey from the air, but sometimes they hunt while running on the ground, just flapping their wings. One of their favorite foods is the black-tailed jackrabbit, which they'll hunt in pairs with coordinated attacks. One will scare the rabbit away, while the other goes after it. It's thought that there are between 85,000 and 160,000 mature golden eagles in the world. Over the last 40 years, their numbers have stayed the same in North America and steadily grown in Europe, which is good news as they were once in decline. Number 17, White-Tailed Eagles. You can find white-tailed eagles in Europe, Asia, and North America. They live in the Middle East, Europe, Greenland, Russia, and China. They can be found in freshwater, marine, and land ecosystems. 
Most of the time they live near the coast. There are also habitats in the sea, in wetlands, on grasslands, and in forests. They can now be found in many places around the world. Almost everywhere except South America is their range. The best place to find these magnificent creatures is near large bodies of water. Look up at the sky, towards trees, and near cliffs to find one. They can be found year-round. Even though they are related, the white-tailed eagle and the bald eagle are two different species. They're both sea eagles and belong to the Haliaetus genus. They're also about the same size and have wings that are almost the same length. There's only a discrepancy of half an inch or less between the wingspan of the two birds, too. They are very protective of their territory. They'll engage with other birds to protect their territory, which can be over 40 miles. They fly very fast. These dineural birds usually roost in pairs. During the breeding season, they can make a lot of noise. Their calls consist of 15 to 30 vocalizations in a sequence. The name for a group of eagles is a convocation, which sounds very formal, like they're all Supreme Court judges or something. The good judges, not the ones caught taking bribes from people. Number 16. White-bellied sea eagles. The white-bellied sea eagle is a large bird of prey that hunts during the day. It nests and hunts near the water and eats mostly fish. This bird has a white head, rump, and underside. Its back and wings are dark or slate gray. When the bird is flying, the black flight feathers on its wings make it easy to see from below. The eyes are dark brown, and the large hooked bill is laden blue-gray with a darker tip. The legs and feet are gray or yellow, and the claws are long and black. Like many other birds of prey, the female is a little bigger than the male. Young birds have brown feathers, which change to white over the course of five to six years. White-bellied sea eagles are often seen in Mumbai in India, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka in southern Asia to the east, through all of the coastal Southeast Asia, including Burma, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, Indochina, and the main and smaller islands of the Philippines in southern China, including Hong Kong, Hainan, and Fuzhou, and then through the rest of New Guinea, the Bismarck Archipelago, and Australia. Most of the time, these birds live near the coast on islands and in estuaries, but they can also be found in large lakes, rivers, and wetlands inland. Number 15. Crested Serpent Eagle The Crested Serpent Eagle is a bird of prey that's about the size of a hawk. It lives in the forests of tropical Asia. It lives in a large area that includes the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, and East Asia. All of the birds in the species complex have big heads with long feathers on the back that make them look like they got a mane or a crest. The face is bare and yellow. The powerful feet are bare and heavily scaled, but they don't have feathers. They fly over treetops and have wide white and black bars on their tails. They often call out with loud, sharp, and well-known three or two note sounds. They also often eat snakes, which is how they got their name. And just so you know, anything that chooses to eat snakes is pretty badass, given that most creatures are completely terrified of the slithering serpents. Number 14. Wedge-tailed eagles. The wedge-tailed eagle is a large eagle that lives in Australia and is truly beautiful. They live all over Australia, from the tropical top end to the island of Tasmania. Life starts out pretty brutally for this eagle. If there isn't enough food, the bigger eagle chick might eat the smaller one. A wedge-tailed eagle will lay two to three eggs, with two to four days between each one. As soon as the first egg is laid, the mom starts incubating it. The babies hatch within a few days of each other. This means that chicks from older eggs tend to be bigger than chicks from younger eggs. The first egg has a better chance of making it to adulthood than the other eggs, so if it needs to, it'll eat its brothers and sisters. It sounds mean, but only the strongest will make it as a top predator. The wedge-tailed eagle is the biggest bird of prey in Australia. It's also one of the biggest eagles in the world. The females are bigger than the males, and they also weigh more. Because they're so big, they can carry very heavy prey. Also, large bird equals very large nest. Wedge-tailed eagles usually build their nests in the tallest trees. Because of this, it's very important for Australia to keep its old forest protected. Number 13. African Fish Eagles You don't have to be an expert birder to recognize this beautiful bird's yodeling call. The African fish eagle's call is often called the sound of Africa. It brings to mind lazy rivers and palm-lined lakeshores, and it often sings with the grunts of hippos. And the bird itself is easy to spot with its black, white, and chestnut feathers. The African fish eagle is not a true eagle, but it is in the same group of sea eagles as the American bald eagle and the Eurasian white-tailed eagle. 
along with seven other species. This is one of the oldest bird groups still alive today, and it's a beautiful sight. African fish eagles are kleptoparasites, which means they steal food from other species on a regular basis. Pirates often kill goliath herons and saddle-billed storks when they do this. The sharp barbs on a fish eagle's toes, which are called spiracules, help it catch fish and other slippery prey. Not only does this predator eat fish, it eats lots of other stuff too. Ducks, terrapins, crocodiles, small waterfowl, and even flamingos in the Soto Lakes of East Africa are also its prey. Because this bird is so noticeable and charming, it plays a big role in the folklore and heraldry of many countries. Namibia, Zambia, and South Sudan all have it on their coat of arms. Number 12. Stellar's Sea Eagles the stellar sea eagle is often called the most beautiful bird of prey in the world. It's dark, impressive, the largest sea eagle, and the heaviest known eagle. Even though it's big and looks beautiful, not much is known about its habits. The stellar sea eagle is often easy to spot because of its dark body, white head, shoulders, tail, and thighs, and a bright yellow bill. People think they're the remnants of the ice age that evolved on the narrow northwest Asian coast and stayed there through many ice ages. They've never been seen anywhere else. Other northern sea eagles have yellow legs, eyes, and beaks like the Stellars, and they're also big birds, which seems to support this theory. Stellar sea eagles are one of the rarest birds of prey in the world. Not much is known about them because they live in a remote area on the rocky sea coasts and rivers of northeastern Siberia and Russia. Most of the warm season, these birds of prey live in this area, and some of them stay here all year. Many of them move slightly more south to southern Kuril Islands in Hokkaido, Japan, where there's more food, but this is the only place in the world where this eagle lives. Stellars are losing their homes in Russia because hydroelectric power projects and logging are happening in the forest where they nest. Chemicals from nearby factories are also getting into the rivers where sea eagles fish, meaning life is tough for these ancient and mysterious eagles right now. Number 11. Indian Spotted Eagle The Indian Spotted Eagle lives in Bangladesh, India, Myanmar, and Nepal. It prefers subtropical and tropical dry forests to plantations and farmland. It's vagrant in Pakistan. In Nepal, it lives and breeds in the Chitwan and Bardia National Parks, the Sukla Fanta, and the Koshi Tapu Wildlife Reserves, and some unprotected areas in the Terai. In India, it's spread it across the Gangetic Plains, in the east up to Manipur, in Madhya Pradesh, and in southern Orissa. In the south, it's only found in Kotagiri and Mudu Malai, and in the Nilgris district of Tamil Nadu and Tamil Kuru in Karnataka. These birds have everything you'd expect from an eagle. Sharp talons, pointed beak, piercing eyes, permanently focused look, sharp talons, and a broad head. The mouth of this species is the widest of all the species of spotted eagles. The main thing that the Indian spotted eagle has evolved are its beak and talons. The Indian spotted eagle is an amazing predator because its beak is hooked, black, and very sharp. The Indian spotted eagle doesn't usually live near humans, but you can often find them in city parks. The aggressiveness of this species doesn't pose a threat to humans, but it's rare for a person to get close enough to see how aggressive it is anyway. It's a different story for the poor creatures it likes to eat. The Indian spotted eagle is an expert hunter, and it's rare for its prey to get away from its deadly talons. Number 10. Hast's Eagle The Hast's Eagle is a type of eagle that used to be common on New Zealand's South Island. Hass Eagle is the biggest eagle that's ever lived. However, around 1400, the species went extinct, and experts think that it was because the Maori, Polynesians from the mainland New Zealand, moved into the area where it lived and exterminated it. The Hass Eagle's size was only matched by the recently discovered Amplibueto woodward, which is a species of giant eagle that also died out. Hass eagles, like all eagles, ate meat. It was a great hunter that ate mostly big flightless birds like the moa. That's pretty amazing since the moa was up to 15 times bigger than the eagle. During a hunt, this bird's huge claws dug into the body of its prey and caused it to bleed to death. They had strong beaks, and experts think that they used them to rip out the organs of the prey like vultures do. That's pretty gnarly. Number 9. Batlure Eagles The Batlure is found in Africa. 
This medium-sized, colorful eagle doesn't live in Africa's northern deserts, but it's fairly common in the south of the Sahara Desert. It can be found as far south as South Africa, as far west as Cameroon, and as far east as Southwest Arabia. The bat lyre, on the other hand, doesn't live in dense forests like many other eagle species do. This highly adapted hunter is an eagle of the plains. It prefers open habitats like woodlands, savannas, and grasslands, where it can be seen soaring at unusually low heights in the search of prey, nesting in tall trees, or perching on snacks. The bat lear's moods are hard to hide, maybe more than any other kind of eagle. The skin on this raptor's face and legs changes color, just like a mood ring does when a person wearing it feels a certain way. When a bat lear is calm and at ease, its skin is often a pale red color, but it can also be orange. When it gets excited though, the legs and feet turn bright red very quickly. When these birds are upset, they also raise their crest, puff out their chest feathers, and spread their wings. And when the situation calls for it, this normally quiet bird will bark in a loud, raspy way that no other eagle does. Number 8. Varro's Eagle The Varro's Eagle is another big bird of prey that lives in Africa. This large eagle is also called the Black Eagle because of its striking black feathers. It lives in the sub-Saharan areas of southern and eastern Africa. The Varro's Eagle was named after the French ornithologist and botanist Jules Varro. In the early 1800s, Varro went to South Africa, and he helped start the South African Museum in Cape Town. The Varro's eagle is different from most other types of eagles because it usually builds its nest on the edge of a cliff instead of in a tree. The nest is quite big, with a diameter of up to 6 feet. It's made of sticks, and the inside is lined with green leaves. The Varro's eagle usually hunts by sneaking up on its prey and catching it by surprise. It does this by swooping around the rough edges of cliffs to catch its prey off guard. The Varro's eagle has also been seen hunting in pairs. This is unusual for eagles, but it helps them surprise their prey. Number 7. Tawny Eagle The Tawny Eagle is another big eagle. It's a member of the subfamily Aquilinae, also called booted eagles, because it's got a lot of feathers on its legs. Tawny eagles have a large but patchy breeding range that includes much of Africa and the Indian subcontinent. They sometimes live in the southern Middle East, but this is pretty rare. It prefers open, dry places like semi-deserts, desert steppes, or savanna plains all over its range. Even though the species prefers dry areas, it rarely lives in places where there's no trees at all. It lives in one place and builds a stick nest where it lays one to three eggs. Most of the time, the nest is on top of a tree. The tawny eagle is probably the most opportunistic of all the members of its taxonomic family. It often scavenges dead animals or steals food from other carnivores. It's also a bold and active hunter, often going after large and varied prey. The average age for a tawny eagle is thought to be 16 years. Still, everywhere the tawny eagle lives, there's been sharp drops in the number of the birds. The once common tawny eagle may be on the verge of extinction because of many things, including the lost and nesting habitat caused by logging and global warming, persecution, mostly by poisoning, and other deaths caused by humans. Number 6. Rufous-Bellied Eagles the rufous-bellied eagle is a gorgeous bird of prey with very unique feathers. The adult rufous-bellied eagle has a black head that makes it look like it's wearing a helmet or a mask. As you might guess from its name, it also has a rusty orange belly. This is a shocking difference from the white spots on its chest and throat. The legs of the rufous-bellied eagle are fully feathered, just like the legs of the ornate hawk eagle. As is the case with many other types of raptors, the female rufous-bellied eagle is bigger than the male. She'll have a little more black on her face as well. The rufous-bellied eagle can be seen sitting on horizontal branches just below the canopy above forested hillsides and valleys. It's also known to spend a lot of time flying over forest slopes and hills, either alone or with another eagle. In this case, the child is usually an adult. This beautiful eagle doesn't seem to call much when it's not in mating season. But when it does call, it often makes a high-pitched sound that sounds like key or a series of shorter calls that almost sound like whistles. It may use these calls to talk to its mate. Number 5. Martial Eagles some of the most beautiful birds of prey in the whole world live in Africa. The Marshall Eagle is, without a doubt, the most beautiful eagle in Africa. The Marshall Eagle is also the biggest eagle in Africa. Based on average weight and average wingspan, it's the fifth biggest eagle in the whole world. This beautiful crested eagle can only be found in sub-Saharan Africa. Its size and plumage make it pretty easy to spot. As with other eagles and birds of prey, the female is bigger than the male and has more spots on its chest and underside. The wingspan of a 
female martial eagle can be anywhere from about six feet to an amazing eight and a half feet. As the top bird in Africa's food chain, the martial eagle doesn't have any natural enemies. Their diet can vary greatly depending on food availability, but their preference is game birds. Since the Marshall Eagle hunts by sight, it won't leave its nest or place to rest until the sun comes up. They spend most of the day flying, so most of the time they hunt while flying. But they do occasionally hunt from a perch. Its eyesight is so good, it can see prey up to three miles away. The Marshall will fly high above its home territory on warm rising air currents. When it spots a possible meal, it'll drop quickly to catch it by surprise. Number 4. Philippine Eagle People say that the Philippine eagle, also called the monkey-eating eagle, is one of the rarest and strongest birds in the world. The Southeast Asian country made it its national bird, and it does everything it can to protect this critically endangered species. Anyone found guilty of killing one gets 12 years in prison or a big fine. People used to think that the name monkey-eating eagle came from the fact that the Philippine eagle ate monkeys, but despite what most people think, the Philippine eagle does not eat monkeys. Recent studies show that it eats many different kinds of animals, mostly rodents, bats, snakes, eh, small pigs. The Philippine eagle lives in the forest, especially in dense forests with lots of plants. Even though the country has a lot of greenery, huge amounts of logging and careless use of resources are killing the forest, which in turn is killing the home of some of these eagles. Since it lives in forests, many people think that seeing a Philippine eagle means that a forest is in good shape. They're a good barometer of a healthy ecosystem in that respect. Number 3. Crowned Eagles Based on how much its prey weighs, the crowned eagle is thought to be the most powerful eagle in Africa. Crowned eagles are very big. They're the ninth heaviest eagle species in the world. These big hunters are also very dangerous. The remains of multiple males weighing 24 pounds have been found under a nest. Crowned eagles are known for putting on impressive shows. When the male is showing off, he can fly over 3,000 feet high and sometimes gets close to cloud level, which is over 6,600 feet above the ground. But even though their display flights are beautiful and noticeable, crowned eagles are sometimes thought of as clumsy flyers out in the open, lacking the great and speed of other eagles when they're in the air. The crowned eagle's flight is very quiet and stealthy because of the shape of its wings. Today, the number of crowned eagles is going down because the native tropical African forest is being destroyed at a very fast rate. The main place where the species lives is in a rich, high canopy forest. These forests are major targets for timber companies, farmers, palm oil and biofuel plantations, miners, and slash and burn farmers. The crowned eagle is also persecuted because of its size, reputation, and ability to take livestock. The birds are often shot, trapped, or their nests are just destroyed. Number 2. Step Eagle the steppe eagle, formerly common in Eastern Europe's grasslands, have vanished into obscurity in recent decades. The steppe eagle's precipitous decrease can largely be attributed to the fact that, like many other birds that prefer open environments, it's not adapted well to today's agricultural landscapes. There is hope for the steppe eagle, though, because other raptors, like the red kite, have shown impressive success in adapting to man-made habitats. Protecting the steppe eagle's current breeding grounds is crucial to ensuring the species' continued existence, as is working to adapt agricultural techniques to better accommodate a wider variety of animals native to the plains. The steppe eagle, a massive raptor, is a common sight in the broad plains, where it hunts on the ground. It stalks rodents by waiting patiently in front of holes, just like a cat does. The steppe eagle, like other European eagle species, is frequently seen walking around in search of prey. They strut around outside the entrances of rodent burrows and catch the rodents as they emerge. Number 1. Greater Spotted Eagle, Aquia Klanga the Greater Spotted Eagle, or Aquia Klanga, is a large bird of prey that's sometimes just called the Spotted Eagle. Like most eagles, it's a member of the Cypatridae family. It belongs to the group of birds called Booted Eagles, because it's got a lot of feathers on its legs. Once thought to be part of the genus Aquia, the species and the two other Spotted Eagle species are now thought to be part of a different genus called Klanga. Greater Spotted Eagles are spread out in a patchy way. They breed in Eastern and some parts of Central Europe, much of Central Russia and Central Asia, some parts of China, India, and the Upper Middle East. During the winter, they mostly move to South Asia, Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and the Mediterranean Basin, and some parts of East Africa. This eagle likes wetter places to live than most booted eagles that live nearby. It likes riparian zones along rivers, bogs, lakes, ponds, some seacoasts, 
and other waterways that are near woods or forests. The main places where they live and breed are floodplains, especially ones with a lot of water. During winter and migration, they tend to be a little bit less specialized, but they still like to live in wetland-like places. But they sometimes can be found in dry uplands like savanna plateaus in the winter. And if you ever spot a spotted eagle, be sure to let us know. Have you ever encountered an eagle? What's your favorite eagle and why? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.